it's sort of I suppose almost I'd, I'd defend people here a little bit because it's very easy to pick holes in people's bid process. It's a tremendously hard thing to do and everybody makes mistakes. I'm not sure any bid ever goes out the door that's really perfect, but there are certain traps that we see people falling into time and again. And a lot of them revolve around the way the process is run and the way that people are engaged with within that process. I think in particular, making sure that the team gets together very early and is very tightly briefed around the nature of the opportunity, the requirement, um, and what they need to do in terms of pulling the response together to get that sort of degree of consistency of approach in the first place makes a massive difference. And too often what we see is people very hastily sort of uh, get together very briefly, agree who's going to do what, and they get scattered to the winds. Everybody starts writing and sort of feverishly throwing content together. But of course, without that really tight brief, it's, it's inconsistent. And then you're relying on somebody to pull it all together and try and sort of clean it up and make sense of it. And if that doesn't get done, then you end up with a bid that inevitably feels very disjointed and doesn't score well. Yeah, every company needs to be very, very uh, tight in their level of qualification. Um, it's the simple rule of bid less and bid better because it's always tempting. You know, if, if your average order value is £500,000, when a £1.5 million bid lands on the table, everybody's going to want to pursue it. But if you don't know the customer, if you haven't got a history, if you haven't got a background with them, if you don't really know what's going to set you apart, all you're actually doing is committing to spend an awful lot of time chasing it, burning a lot of time and a lot of money with very, very little chance of winning it because almost certainly somebody else will have been in there shaping the requirement, shaping even potentially what the, the actual bid should look like. So it's about having right across the company, having that strength and commitment to a good qualification process that everybody sticks to even if it's a particularly high value opportunity. You know, if you, if you think you can't win it, don't go after it. And that will always drive the conversion rate because it drives the quality of what you do go after so that when you're engaged, you're engaged fully, everybody's behind it and you know how you can win. Uh, the, the senior executives can make a massive difference for good or bad in a bid um, because they've often got very, very strong ideas around what needs to be said, what needs to be conveyed and how the difference is going to be made. And that's fantastic. It's really powerful if you can capture that. But what we see is too often they'll stay out of the process for, you know, in a typical four week, four week bid process, they'll stay out of it for probably the first three weeks. Everybody gets on and then suddenly it gets raised at senior attention because it's a major bid. And that's when suddenly they come in with these very strong ideas and they want to see changes. But it's almost too late in the day for that. And again, it impacts upon quality. So if you know senior people are going to be involved in a bid, it's about bringing them in early, capturing those thoughts, capturing those ideas, and making sure that everybody can reflect that through the process, rather than bringing them in very late in the day just to say, no, 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 I don't want it done that way, I want it done this way instead. And you know, by bringing them in early, keeping them up to date, giving them an easy mechanism within which they can track the process, or progress, I should say, if they've got an easy mechanism to track the progress of the bid and critique and review key parts of it, like the executive summary along the way, then you get a lot less pain towards the back end of the bid, which is always the most painful part anyway.